Captain, reporting back from... Ah! <laughs> nice shooting there, sir. Yes, sir. You're back just 30 seconds, and you're starting already, huh, Miguel? Huh? Oh, well, sir, did oh, uh, well, sir. Well, sir. Let me tell you something, Mr. Well, sir. Since you've been away, things have been happening around here. Oh? Mm. Oh? I took the 73 boat out on a little mission. Oh, good. You what? We uh, tangled with the nips off of Chemo Island. It was rough, I want to tell you, rough, but we clobbered them. It'll be some time before they forget Binghamton and the 73. Well, 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 I'm kind of hanging out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, it's good to be back. But there better be some cold beer in that refrigerator. <laughs> come on, Chuck. Come over here. Sit down over here. Come on, gather around, fellas. What's this with Binghamton? According to him, he sunk the entire Imperial fleet. Oh, yes, it was. Oh, 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 Listen, uh, believe me, even I got a few gray hairs from that one. Yeah, they're in there somewhere. Uh, all right, come on, come on, Chuck. What happened? Well, it all started over at the officers' club. I was OD. I went in there. Sorry, gentlemen. Hate to drink and run, but somebody needs a flat top in a hurry. Let's go, Thompson. This could be trouble. Oh, boy, poor guy. He just got off a pretty rough one, too. They're all rough. Coral Sea, Midway, Solomon's. I don't know what an easy action is like, do you? That is, uh, those of us who have seen action feel they're all rough. For me, the uh, real rough one was Guadalcanal. Uh, Wally, uh, you were hurt at Pearl Harbor, weren't you? Well, uh, yes, yes, that's true, I was. Yeah. It was uh, before the war. Huh? Yeah, they were moving his desk, and uh, it fell on his foot, cut his shoe and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. My fault. I'm chained to a desk while you fellows are assigned to active duty. I tell you, if I had the opportunity, I could be just as much of a hero as you bathtub admirals. Oh, come on, Wally. Don't be so sensitive. I'm trying to make up. You're also smug about your combat experiences. I'll have you know that I contribute just as much to winning this war at my desk job as you fellows do out your sure. ships, and don't you forget it. What, what, what? Pardon me, sir. The fleet commander requests you're contacting him at once, sir. It's urgent. Oh. Well, I hate to drink and run, gentlemen, but the fleet commander wants to see me. Parker, this could be trouble. Oh, it is, sir. He says he hasn't had any ice cream in two days, and if you don't fill out that... Right... <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right, sir. It's just a shame that my boat is still being repaired, or you could really show them, sir. Get out of my way. Oh. I'll show them, all right. Oh, I'll show them. There must be something that I can... That's it. I'll take out McHale's boat. But, sir, Commander McHale is still away in New Caledonia. I know where McHale is. That's why this is perfect. Oh, this will give me a chance to show that smug crowd at the officers' club that old... Forty not Binghamton isn't adverse to a little tangle with the enemy, huh? Captain, I, I still don't like the idea of your assigning yourself to active duty with that, that 73 boat. Nonsense. This is my opportunity to bring that gang of cutthroats back into the Navy. But, sir, that crew is without a doubt one of the worst... Are you raising your voice to me? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Never, sir. No. But, sir, that crew is really... I know all about that crew, Carpenter. And no matter what I think of that crew personally, wherever you find McHale's men, you'll find action. And that's what I want, Carpenter. Action! <laughs> Condition rest, condition rest. Bring up this head of this way. Come on. Wonder what old Red Bottom wants. Let's assemble at the boat. Get the money, get the money. Get out of here. You're going. Get out of here. 
Mr. Parker, we can't keep this grueling pace up forever. We've been working since daybreak. Hey, Why, Captain Binghamton, I didn't realize you were here. You didn't, huh? What would you have done if you'd known I was here? Arrange an enemy attack to impress me? Well, I hadn't thought of that, sir. Why didn't you think of that? I probably yeah, didn't. Yeah, that's it, Now you can tell your men that their little charade is over. I want them to assemble on the dock at once. Yes, sir. Men, your little charade is over. About 73, I have some exciting news for you. Are you ready? I have decided to assign myself to active duty on this boat. Huh? I beg pardon, sir. Does that mean the war is over? <laughs> Gruber, ordinarily I would slap you in the brig for a crack like that. But I want you to stick around and see how things can be accomplished when they're done the right way, the Navy way. Well, uh, pardon me, sir, but uh, Commander McHale has always taught us to do things the Navy way. Oh, I know that, but I'm talking about our Navy, not the Japanese. <laughs> now, when I'm through with you, you're going to be a fighting unit, not a motley bunch of legalized pirates, Mr. Parker. Take her out. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right, you pirates. Uh, man, uh, all right, we're going to take her out. Keep two. Start engines, Mr. Parker. Yes, sir. Start engines, Mr. Parker! <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Tinker, uh, Bell, start your engine. <laughs> what kind of a way is that to store a depth charge? Uh, sir, that's Commander McHale's own special system for nonsense, rigging a charge. Nonsense, with that board sticking out like that, that's a safety hazard. Why, a person could come along here and kick... No, no, no! <laughs> trajectory, sir. Uh, really took off. Of course, you're windage on a day like this. You'd have to... Take a ride, Christy. Aye, sir. Uh, get ready to cast off, Willie. All right. I got just scream. He could scream. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that would have been a direct hit, you know. <laughs> oh, this was a fine torpedo drill. Fine. Secure the crew from battle stations. Oh, and uh, give the men a well done. Yes, sir. Secure from battle stations and well done. <laughs> now you men see how things are done the real Navy way, huh? Yes, sir. Hey, there's a little sweetheart I used to train with at boot. This gun is kept it ready. Yes, sir. I clean and maintain it myself and everything. No one touches this little chatterbox with me, sir. No, sir. That's against the regulations. Every man on board should know how to operate every weapon on board. Well, they do, sir. It's, it's just that Virgil here is a loose and swivel to his own touch. You men in the Navy fire a gun like Virgil, sir. That's a lot of nonsense. There isn't a gun in the Navy that I haven't kept up on. It's yes, sir, but th this particular gun is... Watch that, quick! <laughs> Captain, what'd you hear? Any luck? 
Ah, there isn't anything stirring down there. The Nips must have taken a day off. Oh, uh, gee, that's too bad, sir. Mm, I have a feeling we'll have better luck tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> oh, I thought we were pretty lucky today. <laughs> I mean, to have you aboard, sir. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the wall. <laughs> been in the Navy since the war began, and it's the first time I feel like taking out insurance. He's trying to get us all wiped out. Boy, you say that again. I'm gonna fight a complaint under Geneva Convention. I got a right. Mr. Parker, isn't there any other way we can get him off our necks? Uh, well, I don't know. But when I promised Commander McKeel I'd take care of you guys, too. I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. It's not easy, but it just might work. Anyway, it's our only chance. Well, what is it? We sell Bingham to the Japanese. Oh, come on. You know, there is one thing we can do. What are you throwing out my idea for without giving it a chance? Let's see what kind of a price we get for it. <laughs> Mr. Parker, my idea is that since the captain wants to go on a mission, let's take him on one. Are you crazy? Take the captain on a mission? Hey, if Gruber can get two balls of rice for the captain, I say we take it. Yeah! Knock it off, you chowderhead! Hey. Oh, of course I didn't mean you, sir. Now, look, I found out what started this whole mess. Captain Binghamton was being razzed in the officers' club yesterday about his desk job. All he wants is a war story, you can tell. So I say, let's give him one. Going on a mission with Binghamton, it'd be suicide. That's right. And I promised my mother I'd be home right after the war. No, I don't mean take him on a real mission. My idea is to set up a fake. A fake? I don't get it. Well, uh, what's the quietest island in the area? I'd say Chemo. Yeah, Chemo. Quiet like a library. Well, when we land on that quiet little island, what do you think happens? I don't know. Well, Binghamton runs smack dab into a Japanese scout. He engages him in combat. He saves our whole crew, and we send him back to the officer's club a hero. That's brilliant, Christy, brilliant! Yeah, that's great. That's just great. Yeah, great. <laughs> now, where are we gonna find a nice, friendly Japanese scout to cooperate? Uh... <laughs> oh, no! I gotta go now. Have cake in the oven. Oh, come on, Gucci <laughs> old buddy. All you have to do is put on your old uniform and let Binghamton take a couple of shots at you. That's yeah. all. Let Captain take shots at me? You flip your red. He almost murdered me today and not even aim at me. Nothing can happen to you. We'll be sure and put blanks in the captain's gun. You gotta save your our house. lives, Fooge. How about it, samurai? Okay, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Count for, sir. Very good, Mr. Parker. Now, let's shove off. We're going to see action today. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, well, good for your bones, sir. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get aboard. Come on, we're taking her off, man. Let's go. Let's go to the station. You can't leave yet. Fuji's not on board. What are you talking about? I thought he was below. He went back to get his good luck charm. <laughs> Mr. Parker! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, Parker, let's move, let's move, let's move. Those Japanese aren't going to wait all day. <laughs> yes, sir, we can't keep those Japanese waiting. You feel all right? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, start your engines, all ahead of quarter. Start your engines, all ahead of quarter. <laughs> Don't they know there's a war on? Well, maybe they heard you're on the prowl, sir. I'm going aft and check our torpedoes. Call me if you sight anything. Aye, right, sir. Boy, now what are we gonna do? Without Fuji, our plan is dead. Yeah, and so are we, unless we come up with... Hey, listen, we've got Fuji's uniform aboard, and Tinker's the same size. So what? Uh... Hey, yeah! We could get Tinker to dress up in the uniform and make believe that he's a Japanese scout. Wait. No, he'd never do it. Mr. Parker, do you know what you are? You're an officer. You can order him to do it. Yeah, yeah I can handle this just like Commander McHale. Seaman Pell, 
Report to the bridge at once. Get up here, you swab, and move it. I, I was just going to talk to one of the members of the crew, sir. <laughs> Signal for you, Captain Binghamton. Well, let me have it. Parker. Parker, this is it. This is orders from Comfleet. Oh, wonderful, sir. What does it say? He finally got the order. Okay, stop <laughs> blabbing. I'll tell you what it says. It says that we're to proceed to an island where the enemy may be starting a buildup. They want us to move in quietly and see how big a concentration it is. Oh, yes. Parker, this is what I've been waiting for. You're no more anxious than we are, sir. Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> Blow hard at the club. Let's go. Crew, to your stations. Come in, all weapons. Post the lookouts. All ahead, full. Gee, I love that kind of talk. Yeah, that's got to get you, doesn't it? <laughs> well, now, you heard him. To your stations, men. All full ahead. Set course for Kimo Island. Oh, Parker, I tell you, I waited for this for so long. It... How did you know the enemy was on chemo? <laughs> well, you told me, sir. Well, I don't remember saying anything. Uh, oh, yes, you did. You said chemo. Yes, sir. Yes, well, I, I, I heard sure you. I wouldn't say anything. Uh, loose lips sink ships, you know. <laughs> well, uh, how else would I know? Uh, I, I mean, I'm not a mind reader, sir. <laughs> I'm beginning to think you're not even an ensign. <laughs> Quiet to me. Oh, 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 well, sir, that's because we've come in on the far side of the island from where the buildup was reported. You know, we would want to be observed coming in, sir. Oh, well, that's true, Christopher, true. That shows you've picked up quite a bit from me during this shakedown cruise. <laughs> now, what are we waiting for? Let's go in. Go in? <laughs> well, sir, before we go in, I think you ought to scan the sea in all directions. Kind of a precaution, sir. Mm. You know, Parker, you're beginning to shape up, too. We can't be too careful. Be a trap. Come on, Tinka. Come on. Parker, what is the matter with you? Stop waving at me. Now let's go ashore. Yes, sir. Oh, look, sir. Isn't that a periscope? Where, where, yes, where? sir. Off our starboard sides. I don't see the periscope. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Where? We're well, coming right at it, sir. At, at about ten o'clock. No, it'll be about ten thirty. <laughs> well, it's between ten thirty and quarter to eleven, sir. <laughs> well, I don't see anything out there at all. There's a seagull out there. Oh. <laughs> Well, I, I thought it had kind of a long beak for a periscope, sir. <laughs> Parker! But more goof like that, I'm going to have you turn in your gun belt. <laughs> Come on, we're hitting the beach. We're hitting the beach. I want you to spread out. Keep low. Good idea, sir. I have an idea. This place may be swarming with Japanese.
Radio silence, I'm going to signal for a court martial board to meet us at the dock. This is the most insolent, the most outrageous, the most... Insubordinate. Insubordinate. <laughs> Cut that out. Well, actually, sir, uh, I feel this whole incident was kind of my fault. Uh, I thought you were just looking for a story to tell the officers at the club, and while we you all got to get our left, Mr. New, keep it buttoned. <laughs> Enemy ship off to starboard, just coming into view around the point. Battle stations! Well, that must be the ship that brought the enemy ashore. Well, what are our orders, sir? We attack. Make all tubes ready. All torpedo tubes ready, sir. Range. Range. 1,200 yards. Course. Uh, uh, course is 045 degrees, sir. Fire one. But, sir, we have to come around at least 10 more degrees. I'm afraid he's right, sir. Are you telling me how to fire a torpedo tube? Are you telling me what to do? I said, fire one, now you fire one, fire. <laughs> Miss by a hundred yards. It's heading for the beach. <laughs> Just witnessed the first time in naval history that a torpedo sunk a truck. <laughs> well, I tell you, gentlemen, it was rough. I realized that the only way that I could knock out the enemy installation with the meager weapons that I had at my command, you realize, was I had to ignore the intense barrage that the enemy was hurling at me. I was hurling this barrage at me from, from a dozen destroyers. They had the cruisers there. They had aircraft carriers. I had to ignore all that. I had to just give the order. I said, man, we are... What is it, mister? Did you want to see me? What is it? What, what? Well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, my men were wondering if we could have a weekend pass, sir. It seems that... A the... oh, weekend pass. That's absolutely out of the question, Parker. What's the matter? with you don't you know there's a war on well, well yes sir uh, uh sir i couldn't help overhearing uh are there any details that i could help you fill in i, I mean while you're telling the men about uh, your mission i uh no no parker no i remember everything just exactly as it happened I, uh, why uh, why don't you stop by my office and have a talk with me parker when your crew gets back Monday. <laughs> yes, sir. Somehow we knew we could depend on you. Are you going to tell him about the truck, sir? <laughs> oh, I tell you, it was rough, gentlemen. Rough. I don't care what actions you've seen, unless you were at chemo. <laughs> 